So today's lecture, we are going to discuss about addressing. What addressing is basically, this is the course, basic networking course, there we have already discussed seven layers of OSI model that application, then we have session, sorry, application, presentation, session, transport. Now when transport layer any data packet is delivered from source to destination, we have something called socket address. So that socket address we will discuss later because this is nothing but a combination of IP address and port number. But when you come to network layer, the job of network layer is basically to find out a path from source to destination. So it's a logical path. So when you are finding a logical path from any source to destination, you need to find out the route or you need to find out the logical addresses. So network layer defines a protocol which is called internet protocol and from internet protocol the address which comes is called IP address. Now often we find out questions, so physical layer actually delivering my signals from source to destination. Now often people ask that in data link layer we have two subdayer, one is called LLC, one is called MAC. A MAC subdayer generates a physical address which is called MAC address. So when we talk about addressing, there is a general question comes to everyone's mind that is why you require IP address and MAC address separately. Let me tell you, when you have source address to destination address, we have two addresses to define two things. One is physical path and one is logical path. To define physical path, we need to have from source to destination a network which is the physical network or physical connectivity which takes care of by MAC sub layer of data link layer and the address which is found at every layer from layer 2 is called MAC address. Now what is MAC address? The MAC full form is medium <coughs> access control. So this is medium access control sub layer. So MAC address is medium access control which generate address which is nothing but a hardware address or physical address is called MAC address. Now, how a MAC address look like? For example, it is nothing but a 48 bit binary number and this number is represented as hexadecimal number. So when you have MAC address in this particular format, so 48 bit means divided by 4 because each and every 4 bit binary number is represented as one hexadecimal number. So you will get 12 bit hexadecimal number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have something called MAC broadcast when we say FFFFF. That we will discuss later. But MAC address, you will find the address in this range. So what is this MAC address defining in that network? It is defining that hardware specification. So each and every hardware generate address which is called MAC address. Now we have something called IP address. So we will discuss IP address in details. So addressing, when we talk about devices, you have for example two do domain that is called collision domain and broadcast domain. So when you have multiple broadcast domain, for example you have a router, this is router 1, this is router 2. Now, when you have several several network, the router is a de device which is adding two network, which is called network one and network two, and this is, for example, WAN one. So you have this one broadcast domain in in this particular part. You have from R one to R two one broadcast domain, and from R one to this home network, we have a three broadcast domain. When you have such kind of network, for example, you have two PC. This is PC1 and you have another PC which is called PC2. Then you have three network, network 1, network 2 and network 3. So you need to find out a logical path from PC1 to PC2 which is for example this is source here and this is destination here. So for example source address is having 
192.168.0.10 IP address and 192.168.1.20 IP address. So this IP address, whether it belongs to same network, define it, different network, we need to understand that. So we need to learn IP addressing in details. So what is IP address? I, the full form of IP is Internet Protocol. So address which is defined by Internet Protocol is nothing but a IP address. Now when we talk about IP address, IP address of two type. When we talk about IP address, we have two types of addresses, IPv4 and IPv6. Now when this communication system started, Internet Protocol introduced this version 4 which is a 32 bit address which is represented as binary number and later on different researchers found out that this particular addressing scheme was not very much suitable because we have only 2 to the power 32 number of addresses available and we have worldwide billions of gadgets which need to be or required to be associated with the IP address which is nothing but IPv6 address which is which came very recently after a decade people used IPv4 address and started thinking of that we should have a more number of addresses and then they introduced this IPv6 128 bit address so the scope has increased so we can have now 2 to the power 128 address so this today's IP address so we'll discuss about IPv4 address entity so when we will discuss about IPv4 address, let's say the representation of it. So when we talk about representation of IPv4 address, this is represented as dotted decimal. For example, 0 0.0.0.0. This doesn't look like it is a 32-bit number, but this is a 32-bit number. This each and every block is nothing but a 8-bit binary number. Now 8 bit binary number is represented as a decimal number. Let me give you a quick representation how this 8 bit number can be converted to a decimal number because this is a dotted decimal number. The first bit value is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. Now if you have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. The value is 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. This is the value. So if you set all the bit to 0, this is 0. And if you set all the bit to 1, the value is nothing but 255.255.255.255. So that is the range of IP address we get when we have 32 bit. IPv4 address. Now this IPv4 address, we have two types of IPv4 address when we talk about usage of IPv4 address. In case of IPv4 address, we have something called classful IP address, we have something called classless IP address. So let's first start with classful IP address. Now what is classful IP address? Classful IP address is when we have this so many range 2 to the power 32 number of IP address, this when we use, we have two things in that IP address that is, that entire 32 bit is divided into two parts. One is called network identifier, one is called host identifier. So this is net bit and host bit. So we have different, different classification. So we have five classes of IP address when we have this range of IP address, we have five classes of IP address A, B, C, D and E. By seeing the first 8 bit, we can find out whether it belongs to class A, whether it belongs to class B, whether it belongs to class C, whether it belongs to class D, or whether it belongs to class E. So how we can actually identify such? Now, what is class A IP address? Class A IP address, first, if you look into the 32 bit, first 8 bit, that means the first block, we have 4 blocks, 
is actually into network portion and remaining 24 bit is in host portion. So it defines a bigger set of network. But that means the number of hosts are more. So you can have 2 to the power 24 in each, each block of the network. So if you look into a single broadcast domain, this particular broadcast domain will be having a scope of IP address which is 2 to the power 24. So how to define a class A network? So it says that first 8 bit will be having starting with 0 and remaining bit will be fixed. So if you fix this bit to 0, how many numbers are possible? Very easy, 0 to 127. So how many number of addresses, for how many number of network possible? It's very easy, 128. So this is the property of class A. So class A will start from 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 to it will vary to 127 dot 255 dot 255 dot 255. So this is the range of class A. So any address lying between this, we can claim this is a class A network. But what is a network? Class A network, if you, if you have something starting with 0, this is a different network. If it is something starting with 1, this is a different network. Starting with 2, this is a different network. Starting with 3, this will be this different network. So, you will be having different different networks. Okay. So, how many networks, such networks possible? You can see, out of this first 8 bit, how many bit are fixed? 1 bit. So, how many bit? Vary 7 bit. So, so, what is 2 to the power 7? That is 128. So, you can see 0 to 128. So, many number of networks possible. So, each and every network, so many IP addresses possible. So, host will vary from 0 to 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 to 255 dot 255 dot 255. So, it means it is varying 24 bit. So, 2 to the power 24 is a scope. Now, let me talk about class C, sorry, class B. What is class B? Class B is such a kind of network which will be having 16 network bit and 16 host bit. So when we have 16 network bit and 16 host bit, what will be the scope? Host bit, the scope will be each and every network through the 16. Now, how you classify class B? So class A we have seen when we classify class A, the first bit is set to 0 in the entire 32 bit. That means it is class A. So what is class B? In case of class B, it is set to 1, 0. So if you set to 1 and 0, what value you will get? You will be getting a value which is ranging from 128 to 191. Because if it is 1, 1, it is 128 plus 64 is 192. So it is varying from 128 to 191. So the range is 128.0.0.0 and 191.255.255. So this is the range of class B network. So when you have such range of network, so how many IP addresses possible? Now, out of first 8 bit, how many bits are freeze? 2 bit. So how many bit varying? 6 bit. So 2 to the power 6 into how many bit? Further varying, that is 8 bit, 2 to the power 8. So this is 2 to the power 14. So that many networks are possible in class B. So and each and every network will be having a block of 2 to the power 16. So this is the specification of class B. Now coming to class C. What is class C? Class C network portion is 24 bit and host portion is 8 bit. So now class C specification is 110. When we have such specification, it is varying from 192 to 223. Now out of 24 bit, how many bits are varying? How many bits are not varying is 3. So you can have 2 to the power 21 number of networks. So you can have a huge number of networks. 
So when you need to create more number of network, you always should go for class B, sorry, class C. And when you, when you have mid size balancing network network size and host size, you will be going for class B. And when you are looking for class A, it will provide you a bigger broadcast domain. So number of hosts will be more since the block size will be much. But here in this case, how many number of addresses possible? The block size will be 2 to the power 8. So you will be having only 256 as a block size. So you will be having IP address which is a, which is very short. Now what is remaining? Remaining is class D which is 1110 and class E that is this is 224 to 239 and 242 255 is class E. Now when we talk about IP addresses, we need to know the representation of IP address. Now it is the representation of IP address. Now whenever you go and type IP config in your any of the host or you need to see the IP address, you need to have the specification that is x dot x dot x dot x that is your IP address and some subnet mask in the form of 255.255.0.0 or something like that. So, to define your network portion and host portion, we have something called subnet mask. So, what is subnet mask? Subnet mask, when you have a network, it defines your network portions and it is defining your host portion. So, if you have 16 bit host portion, that means the 16 bit will say 2, 1. And sorry, 16 bit is network portion, then 16 bit first 16 bit will set to 1 and remaining 16 bit will set to 0. Now we have already discussed about unicast, multicast and broadcast. So what is unicast? This class A, B, C used for unicast addressing. When you look into class D, it is purely used for multicast addressing. That means one to many, many to one. And class E is reserved for several research and other purposes. Now, what is my subnet mask? Now, in the case of class A, we have already defined that first 8 bit is host. Sorry, first 8 bit is network. So, in case of class A, my subnet mask will look like 255.0.0.0. So, if you have anything, so the specification is, if you have given any IP address, which is in the range of 0 to 127, it will always take a subnet mask of this particular pattern. Now, when we look into class B, this is 128 to 191. Now, class B is 255.255.0.0, which will be this particular pattern, which is in the range of 128 to 191. When you look into class C, 192 to 223. This is in the form of 255.255.255.0. So, class A, B, C has a different pattern. Okay. So, this defines 8 bit in the network, 24 bit is the host, this defines 16 bit in the network, 16 bit is in the host, this defines 24 bit is the network and 8 bit in the host. So, this define the subnet marks define that how many bits will be there in host, how many bits will be there in network. Now, this is little rigid in case of pure class A class full addressing. Now, when we look into class less, class full addressing is fixed. But in looking at class less addressing, we can have any number of or out of 32 bit, any bit can be network and any bit can be in host and accordingly we can have addresses. Now, let us find out the scope of addresses. Now, let us take an example of class A addresses. For example, we have taken a class A address which is 10.0.0.0.0. .255 so, this starting with 10, so this is class A, so this defines 
the range of 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. So, so this is a range of any class A network where this is my network portion and remaining is varying. So host portion is varying. But let me tell you two more things. Now it will be subnet mask 255.0.0.0. But let me tell you two more things. That is, whenever we have all host bit set to zero, all host bit is zero. All host bit is zero. So when all host bit set to zero, we get something like network address. And when we have all the host bits set to one, this all one, this is called broadcast address. Understood? So network address and broadcast address used for a specific purpose. So network address cannot be used for communication and broadcast address cannot be used for communication. So when we talk about valid addresses, we have something called 2 to the power n minus 2. This 2 is basically for network address and broadcast address. So what is n? This is host bit. So whenever we do the calculation, we can find out number of hosts is nothing but 2 to the power n minus 2. Now we can calculate for class A, this will be 2 to the power 24 minus 2. For class B, host will be 2 to the power 16 minus 2. Class C, 2 to the power 24 minus 2. That is 254. So this 2 is basically for that reason that when we talk about block size, it is 2 to the power n. But when we talk about IP address, when we talk about valid range of IP address, we need to exclude network address and broadcast address. Okay. Now, this is the range of IP addresses. Now, when we talk about range of IP addresses in class A, B, C, we have two types of addresses. One is called private address. One is called private IP address. One is called public IP address. Now, IANA is the authority who allowed or sell the IP address. And we have something called reserved IP address. So, there is a reservation. So, in this range of 0 to 223, class A belongs to class A is 0 to 127, B is 128 to 191, C is 192 to 223. This is for multi uh, unicasting. So, remaining multicasting is reserved and class E is for the reserve. So, when you look into 0 to 223, out of this, each and every class have something called private block, private addresses. So, in class A starting with 10, class B is starting with 172.16 and class C it is 192.168 remaining. So, these are called private addresses and we have something called reserved addresses for several use. So, in class A, 0 cannot be used. 255 is used for subnet masking, cannot be used. 127 is used for loopback address. For APIPA, 169 is used. That is automatic allocation if you if this DSCB does not work. So, these are the addresses reserved. So, out of 0 to 127, 0 cannot be used. 127 cannot be used. And 10 cannot be used. Remaining all networks are allotted as per the IAN allocation as per the rule of global IP address allotment. So public IP is the remaining IP address. Now when these public addresses are assigned, these addresses are assigned not in the manner of classful addressing. Because classful addressing is an old concept. Now we have classless addressing. In this classless addressing, any number of 32 bit can be allotted to network and remaining can be host. So, you can have network in this particular fashion that out of 32, for example, 14 bit is the network. So, 32 minus 14 will be 18 bit. So, 18 bit will be in host, 14 bit is in network. So, this is basically reason 
2 to the power n minus 2 will be the number of forces. So, here in this case, 2 to the power 18 minus 2. So, it is all about the requirement. Now, how this classless addressing came into the picture? So, we have seen classful addressing, class A, B, C, D, E, and we have seen separate marks. Now, there are two more things, let me tell you, what is called VLSM and CIDR. CIDR, the full form CIDR is classless interdomain routing. CIDR, the full form of CIDR is classless interdomain routing. Interdomain routing. So, this is nothing but how the addresses have been allocated. So, for example, if I write 1.1.1.1 slash 8, this is called CIDR notation. Now, 1.1.1.1 slash 8 means what is actually it is signifying is that out of 32 bit, 8 bit is in the network and 24 bit is in the host. So, 1.1.1.1 is nothing but my IP address where out of which 1.0.0.0 is my network address 1.255.255.255 is my broadcast address and 1.0.0.001 is my first IP and 1.0 sorry 1.255.255.254 is my last IP so this says that 2 to the power 24 minus 2 is a valid range of IP address in this network. So, this signifies a lot. So, instead of talking with, instead of talking in the name of classful addressing, our representation is always the idea. That means, how many number of bits are there in host can be determined from this. So, for example, this is x. So, 32 minus x is in capital N, that is, sorry, small n. So, we can easily calculate 2 to the power n minus 2 is the number of hosts. And reverse we can do. For example, if I want to have n number of addresses, or if I require 100 addresses, so I have to find out what is 2 to the power n. The next biggest block, that is 2 to the power n will be equivalent to 128, so n will be 7. <coughs> Accordingly, this host bit will become, this will be 7 and 32 minus 7 is nothing but 25. So, this is vice versa requirement. And we need to calculate VLSM, that is called variable length subnet mask. We have subnet mask, this is when it is ready, it is called variable length subnet mask. So, when we calculate, not in the form of age, 16 and 24, we need to use this particular table. So, let me go back and tell you the address calculation table at this juncture. So, what is this address calculation table will be all about? These are my 8 bits. So, each and every block, 4 block is there, this 8 bit number will be there. So, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, if my first bit is set, it is known bit is set means 0, 128, 2 bit set means 192, adding this, 3 bit is set 24, 4 bit set is 240, 5 <coughs> bit set is 248, 6 bit set is 252, 7 bit set is 254, and all bit set is 255. So, this will help me to calculate. VLSM. This is where the VLSM calculated table. Now, let me give you an example. 
So, if I am telling 192.168.1.100 slash 26, what do I mean by this? This is giving me a clear cut idea how many bits will be there in host, how many bits will be there in network. So, 26 will be in network and remaining 32 minus 26 is 6 bit there in hosts. So we can calculate number of hosts. So 2 to the power n minus 2 is nothing but 2 to the power 6 minus 2. 6 bit means So this will be 64 minus 2. That means 62. So how many IP address possible? That is 62. So you can, now you can calculate 26. 26 means 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 0. Sorry. Plus 2. So subtract mask 8 means 255. 255. 255. 2 means 192. So you can calculate the subnet mask. Now there is a magic number that is always each and every block contain 256. If you add 192 plus 64, the block size you will get 256. So you can verify that this is magic. So if you calculate such network, then what will be your network address? Now you have seen. 192.168.1 this is fixed now how to calculate network address now here you can see my initially it was 24 in case of class 3 address so 24 plus 2 these 2 bits are varying so when these 2 bits are varying what will be the varying pattern the varying pattern will be 00 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 all the 4 possible combinations if this 2 is 0 that means 1 2 0 this is 0 1 that means 64 1 0 that is 128 1 1 that means 192 so we will be getting 4 network so 1 dot 0 1 dot 64 1 dot 128 and 1 dot 192 so we, we, we have 2 more concepts that is called subnetting and supernetting what is subnetting? or what is subnetworks. So subnetwork is a concept when you borrow some bit from host to network. So this, this portion. So from host to network if you borrow some bit. That means you are actually splitting the bigger network into smaller network. So how many bit you have borrowed? So 24 is your initial bit. Now you have 26, so if you have borrowed 2 bit. When you have borrowed 2 bit, how many number of networks possible? So 2 to the power 2, that is 4. So how many networks possible is 4? So what are the networks? You can see the varying of 2 bit. That means the binary 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So you will get 4 networks. So that is very clear that this 2 bit means it will vary. And you will get 2 to the power 2, that is 4 bit. Uh, sorry, that is 4 numbers. So since you got 4 numbers, you will be getting 4 addresses. So here in this case, you have 192, 1.0, 192.168.1.64, 192.168.1.128. 192.168.1.128. So this number varies in between 64, this in between 64 to 128. So this particular IP address belongs to the network, which is 19. Okay, which is 192.168.1.64. So this is your network address. This is your network address. So what are the network addresses you have? So yet in this case, you have network address like 192.168.1.0, 64, 128. 0 means it is varying from 0 to 63. 0 means all bits set to 0, 63 means all bits set to 1. So 192.168.1.0 in this case, slash 26, this is network address. And 192.168.1.63, in this case, all those bits set to 1. So this is nothing but a broadcast address. So 192.168.1.64, that means this is varying from 64 to 127. So in this case, 192.168.1.64 is nothing but your network address and 192.168.1.127 is your broadcast address. So the range is 
So here in this case 64 and 127. This is network address and broadcast address. So valid range is 65 to 126. So if you calculate, then they are 62 numbers. So these 62 numbers are nothing but your valid range of IP addresses. So you can calculate the subnets. Now borrowing host bit network is basically called concept of subnetting. So what is supernetting? Supernetting is a reverse concept. Reverse concept means if you borrow some bit from network to host, for example, you have two networks, 192. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot zero one dot zero two dot zero three dot zero. This is slash twenty four slash twenty four slash twenty four slash twenty four. If you combine them, then you can write one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot zero slash twenty two. So you are combining this four network and giving it super network that is called supernetting. So it is a reverse concept of subnetting. So, subnetting and supernetting plays a huge role when you design any networks. Okay, so let me find out few problems with designing a particular topology. So, I am giving exercise now here to discuss this problem. So you have to design a network. So for example, you have given a network address which is 192.168.0.0 slash 24. You need to create two subnetworks. When you need to create two subnetworks, what you have to do? So initially, this means 24 bit will be there in network and remaining 8 bit will be there in host. Now I am telling to create two subnetworks from this network. So what you need to do? You need to now create subnetworks by borrowing one bit. So that means this will become slash 25. So how to borrow one bit? So that means this is 128, 64, blah 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 remaining all bit time. No. So, this bit either set to 0, this bit either set to 1. So you will be getting two subnets in this case 192.168.0.0 slash 25 and 192.168.0.128 slash 25. So these two networks are the subnets of this bigger network, a class C slash 24, a normal network which is being provided to you. Now you can do further subnetting. So what I am doing, what I am telling you, you create two further subnets from this network. So you can borrow one more bit. So when you borrow one more bit, so that means you have to borrow second bit. So second bit will vary. So 0 is freezing. So this will be 0 and 1. So when it is 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, you will be getting further two subnets of this. So 192.168.0.0 slash 26 and 192.168. Dot zero dot sixty four slash twenty six. So earlier example when I, I was showing you zero dot zero zero dot sixty four zero dot one twenty eight zero dot one ninety two. These four sub networks are nothing but borrowing continuous borrowing from this particular network and getting sub networks. Now I am giving you one more problem that you need to design a network. From this same IP address, 192.168.0.0/24, and my host requirement is nothing but. So that means 2 to the power n minus 2 is 30. So 2 to the power n is 32. So n is what? 5. So that means. In network bit, this is 5 and 32 minus 5, this is 27. So you have to find out 24 to slash 27. So how many bit you have to borrow? 3 bits. When you borrow 3 bits, let's understand the bit pattern. 128, 64 and 32. So 
the bit pattern will be some thing 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 so how many to the power 3 that means 8 subnets so you can have 8 subnets so you can have 8 such subnets so what are those subnets it's very easy to calculate when you have slash 27 in the earlier table we can calculate 255.255.255 what you can calculate 256 minus 32 because 32 is a block size so it's very easy to calculate this will be 224 so this will be subnet marks so what will be the network addresses 32 into 0 1 2 3 2 7 so 32 into 0 is nothing but 0 so the first subnet what you will get is 192.168.0.0 slash 27 next subnet you will get 32 into 1 is nothing but 32 so 0 0.0, 0.32, 0 0.64, 0 0.64, 160, 0 0.160 plus 32 is 192, then 192 plus 32 is 224, I think that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you will be getting 8 different different networks. So what are the specification? First 0 0.0, so this will vary from. So initially, you have a block size of 256, that is 0 to 255. When you create subnets, you will be getting a block 0 to 31, 32 to 63, 64 to 95, 96 to 127, 128 to 159, 160 to 191, 192 to 223, and 224 to 254. So these are 255 rather. So these are the subnets. So how many subnets? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So why 8 subnets? Because initially you have a block size of 256. Now this 256 you are borrowing 3 bit. So that means you are splitting the bigger network into 8 different blocks. For example, if I am giving a number from 0 to 98, that is 100 number. If I tell you to split that number into 10 blocks, what you will do? You will take 0 to 9, 10 to 11, uh, sorry, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, like that you will be taking 10 different different blocks. So last will be 91, sorry, 90 to 99. So if you split this into 10 different different parts, you will be having 10 different different blocks. So here in this case, when you have divided 256, that is the total 2 to the power 8 block, you will be getting how many blocks? Okay? You will be getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks since you have borrowed 3, 3 bits. And how many bits will be there? How many? What is the block size? That is 32. That means the value range will be 30. So, what I was, I was looking out for, that when I was giving a design specification, I was telling this will be all about 30. So, this is a basic idea about IP addressing. Thank you.